You ever listen to a song and you have trouble figuring out exactly where the downbeat is? You just can't seem to grasp the beat? Well, that's one of my favorite things in songs. So check out episode 17, Where's the One? All right, let's start off right away with a fantastic example from Rufus and Chaka Khan, and that is Tell Me Something Good. In the start of this song, you're going to hear the bass and the guitar alternating back and forth on offbeats. The bass comes in first, which gives you the uh, idea that the bass is the one, but it's really the guitar that's the one. But you don't really know it until maybe a minute into the song when the chorus and the drums really hit. So you can really hear it either way. And still to this day, it's really tough for me to switch it around. I sort of feel one way in the verse and the other way in the chorus. Uh, that's something that I totally love. So that's Tell Me Something Good by Rufus and Chaka Khan. Now this next example is a song where I don't necessarily think the downbeat is disguised, but when I first heard this song, Misty Mountain Hop by Led Zeppelin, it was to play it in a band. And I was playing keyboards, so I had to play that intro, and I just had the toughest time getting that down because I was hearing the one on a different place. I was hearing the one as it comes in immediately. So it was... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But it's really... Two, three, four, one. And so that first note is anticipating the beat. But the first time you hear it, it can be really tricky to understand and see kind of where that whole thing is going. I love that example. Now this next example, I believe, deliberately tries to disguise the beat. And that is Maxwell, Get to Know Ya. Now in this one, you have this guitar lick that comes in and it's on a certain phrase in the intro. But then when the drums kick in, get coming towards the verse, that pattern shifts. And so it gets really hard to figure out where exactly that falls. The other thing too is the kick drum during the intro comes in on three. So you don't get that typical one in that place where you can really feel how that whole thing works and where everything falls. Once the, the whole drum kit comes in, of course, it all falls right into place. But that f intro beforehand is just... I've listened to it a hundred times and I really can't figure out exactly what's happening. So definitely check that out too, because I love this example. Get to Know You by Maxwell. This last example is Just What I Needed by The Cars. And in this one, I don't think they're trying to disguise where the beat is. If you start counting right when it comes in, it's gonna line up perfectly. But what happens is they have this big accent with the guitars and the drums that happens on the four. But most people are gonna count that as the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And if you keep going, you're gonna hear that shift when it gets to the chorus. So that is a relatively simple one. Once you've heard the song a couple times, you won't necessarily make that mistake. But if you're not really thinking about it and you hear that accent as the one, it can totally throw you off. And that's one of the reasons why I think that song is super cool. So if you have any other examples of songs that do these kind of things where they disguise the rhythm, definitely comment below. Let me know some of your favorites. And sometimes it's just the way that you first hear the song. And again, notice I've mentioned all intros to these songs. It's almost always that. Sometimes things get disguised within the middle of a song, which can be really cool. But it's definitely the intros where you're not really sure what's going to happen. It's how I find it to be best done when it's right in the beginning and you don't know what to expect. All right. Take care. Thanks for listening.